Hey friends, it's Megan, Georgia Girl Stitching here on YouTube and on Instagram. It is Saturday, March 30th, 2024, and I'm back for my next floss tube. Um, it's been the entire month of March since I've been back, um, so I'm excited to give you an update on Hell's Kaya on everything that has been going on. Um, I first want to thank everyone who is either returning or checking me out for the first time. I really appreciate all of you being here. Um, it's an amazing world out there in Floss Tube, and I just appreciate you clicking on me today. So since I saw you a few months ago, or a few months ago, a few weeks ago, feels like a few months ago, um, I've been to Asheville to spend some time with my family. I've been to North Dakota to visit my friend out there. Um, I've matched into residency. I have rented a new place in Williamsburg and I've started the moving process. So <laughs> let me break it down. Um, I am very happy to announce that I did match into my number one choice for pediatric residency. I'll be going to VCU, which is in Richmond, Virginia. And so we will be uh, moving a little about 35-ish minutes up the road to Williamsburg, Virginia, and we are extremely excited. Um, David is still in dive school. He's doing really well. Um, he has not quite gotten his official like next place yet, but it's looking like he's gonna be able to come back to like the Portsmouth, Norfolk area, um, assuming all continues to go according to plan. So halfway in between is Williamsburg. Um, so, it's been a whirlwind of a few weeks and it continues to be and it will continue to be um but we are just so excited uh to be moving up there we were there almost every other weekend anyway visiting friends and we just love williamsburg so much so very excited to officially live there soon um we are able to get out of our lease here early so I get the keys April 8th, which is also my mom's birthday, by the way. Um, and I get, and then we officially do the big moving uh, April 20th. So a lot to happen in the next three weeks. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so last time I was here, we were two weeks away from knowing, we officially know. I am just super excited. Um, VCU is my number one. I didn't want to say anything like where I was hoping just in case, you know, <laughs> um, but yes, I did get my number one. So very excited, very, you know, ready to get started. Um, I am in my last rotation of medical school. I'm doing uh, adult cardiology right now, inpatient. I uh, just finished week one of that. Got three weeks left. My last day of med school is April 19th. <laughs> so we are a chapter is about to close. Um, this is actually going to be my last video in this location. So a new chapter, new exciting chapter is about to begin. So that's kind of a little bit of an update. Um, it's been, it hasn't been like 100% easy. It's, it's been crazy. Um, David is only able to respond when he can. So I've been doing kind of 100% of everything, um, which is, you know, tiring, but very fulfilling. It's been Everything has gone very well, thankfully. Um, I'm just tired. <laughs> I'm very tired. Um, but I've got a huge support system and I appreciate everyone who's, you know, that sent me good well wishes. Um, but we're doing, we're doing our dreams. So, you know, one day at a time, one step at a time. The pups have been pretty good. Um, you know, still trying to get into a good habit here. Um, Kai is currently asleep on the couch. Tank is playing in the bedroom. We're doing well. Um, the weather is finally turning nice. I saw a meme that was like, um, I'm about to have a temperature tantrum instead of like a temper tantrum. And that's totally me because the weather would be gorgeous and it would still be freezing. And I'm like, I can't enjoy this because I can't, it's so cold outside. Uh, like it would say it's 60 degrees, but with wind chill, it'd be down in like the forties. It's like, okay, that's not, <laughs> that's not what I'm wanting. So thankfully as of today, the weather is actually warm ish, you know, warmer, it's sunny. So, um, so yes. Um, also want to say happy Easter weekend to anyone who celebrates. Um, hope you had a good Friday, good, good Friday yesterday and, um, fun weekend plans to celebrate Easter. I have a brunch tomorrow that I'm going to some friends. Um, so yeah, it's been, 
it's a it's a heck of a month and it'll be a heck of a month so <laughs> um i think that's all my big life updates for right now um i do have quite a bit of stitching to show you so i'm gonna go through stitching and then um uh, my plans haul giveaway and um and kind of what my next steps look like so since we're talking about Easter, I'll show you my new start from yesterday. Um, this is a sew that I'm doing, well, not, well that I started with uh, Laura from Stitching by the Shore. She um, and a few other people have jumped on as well. I know Sarah from Stitching Mommy, she's doing a full coverage um, with the same hashtag, but slightly different piece. Um, I guess this is full coverage too, but she's doing like a legit, like heaven, I don't know if it's heaven or earth, but it's very large. Um, it's gorgeous. I can't wait to see her continue on that. But so for the He Is Risen Sal, we're do, we started this piece out of the um, Spring 2024 Just Cross Stitch. And that's the piece. It's from Lucy, Lucy Lowe Designs. Um, and I'm doing almost a complete color conversion on this. For the most part, I'm sticking to the same color scheme, but I changed the brown to a green. I'm not there yet, but that's, I will be changing the brown to the green. And I am doing this on 40 count Spearmint. Uh, I think it's the medium shade from Color and Cotton. And I don't have one of my boards. This is as far as I got. So I'm starting with the center cross, the white. I'm trying to do all the white first. So I'm starting with that center cross. And then, um, so yeah, so I just started it yesterday. So not a whole lot of, whole lot of progress um, yet, but very happy with it. I love this color green. And then these are the colors that I'm gonna be using. So again, similar, similar theme, but slightly but very, so all it's called for is DMC and I'm using mostly variegated. I'm using a couple of the DMCs, but, um, so this is what the, the mountain's gonna be now. Instead of the brown, it'll be this green. And then white, I'm sticking with just DMC white. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in this conversion, let me know. It's a bunch of like color and cottons that I just pulled from Stash, nothing like, nothing crazy, so. And then one, I think Cottage Garden threads and a couple classic color works. So just kind of a hodgepodge of things I pulled out of my stash. So I'm excited to keep working on this. I'm gonna keep working on this throughout the weekend. Um, maybe, maybe longer, we'll see. Um, so I started in the center with this cross. So my goal for this weekend is to finish all three crosses. And, and then that's it for the white. And then I can be done with the white and move on to the pretty colors. So, so yeah. So that was my new start from yesterday. And then I do have a start and a finish um, that I, from this month. So if you've been with me for over a year, you um, will probably remember our puppy Isla that we got last March um, that we rescued basically. She, um, we got her March 12th of last year. And then we had three wonderful months with her and then she died tragically in June from um, her intestines like folding in on themselves and she just, the surgery was too much for her. So she wasn't able to make it through. So and that was in June. Um, so we crossed the one year mark of getting her. Um, and so I had actually designed this right after she had passed, but I just didn't have, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't work on it, I uh, couldn't start it. I figured for the one year anniversary of actually getting her, you know, we've had Kaya now for seven months. Um, you know, it just, it felt like it was the right time to, to, to do it. Um, so I started it on the day we got her, March 12th, and then I worked on it until I finished it. And this is what I was able to do. So this is um, modifica modified from, this is the paw in my heart that I, uh, that is an, a pattern that I have available on my Etsy and Gumroad, which is just this plaid uh, square. I changed the, so she was a black lab. Uh, so I changed the paw to be black 
And then I for Isla to be black. Isla Bell was her full name. Um, so I started with that. Her, I, I had her name and her um, birthday and death date. I did those over one just so I could really get them, get the level of detail without making it huge. <laughs> um, Cause when I tried to do like two over two, you just lost so much of it. I got, I could have just done Isla, but we called her Isla Bell so much that, which means beautiful island. Um, and so she just, I wanted to have her, her full name in there. Um, this is on 32 count platinum. So I did one over one for her name and her dates. And then we had a few nicknames for her that we called her a lot. So I put those in backstitch around um, and I purposely wanted them to be the lightest color. I didn't want them to stand out like too much. I wasn't trying to detract, but I definitely wanted to have them in there. So like David called her sweetie girl. I called her Isla baby, like to the sound of like, um, Santa baby, Isla baby. And then we had this joke, the way she walked around and like would putts around, uh, she looked like a little sheep. So we're like, meet me, but I'm a sheep. <laughs> and then Tank was Bow Wow, I'm a cow. So like, cause he was a kind of, he's kind of cow-like. So we just had like these cute like nicknames. We have new ones for Kaya. And, um, but I wanted to, I want to always remember those. Um, so I backstitched those around. So, so yeah, so just a little, little memorial for her. Uh, we do have a memorial shelf that we started for her. Um, the people at the emergency vet were incredible and set us up to have her um, cremate its waiver box with her collar. They did like paw prints, um, both in clay and like with ink. Um, and then we, have, we had friends give us, you know, really sweet gifts and then a picture of her. So this is gonna go, I'm gonna frame this um, and this is gonna go up on the shelf. Um, if you're on my Instagram, I posted a picture of like what her shelf looks like right now. And this will go next to her picture. So, so yeah, so, and it was, it kind of was like another closing of a, of a chapter, you know, we, I, this has been on my to stitch list for nine months now. So it was time to, time to do it. And we'll always love our, our little Isla girl. So, so yeah, so that was, um, I start and finish. And then my other uh, finish is I did finally finish Lighthouse Quaker. So this is my uh, newest design, I guess, yeah. Newest design that is on my Etsy and my Gumroad. This is, I'm trying to get the lighting right. I have my like um, ring light up because while it's bright outside, it's not like coming in very well. So. Um, so this is Lighthouse Quaker. It's much, it's quite brighter than that. Let's see, let me bring it back. Um, it is a companion to my Beach Quaker that I released uh, late last year. And this is on 40 Count Aqua. And I used all variegated um, and one a toile. The white is just DMC white, uh, but I do have DMC conversions that are extremely close to the variegated. It's actually been one of my most proud conversions, actually, because I I uh, I got them to be really close. So this is now available on my Etsy and Gumroad. Like I said, I loved it so much. I love how it worked, how the effects came out. And again, like I said, it's much it's much brighter than that. It's kind of hard to get. Yeah, I guess it's a little bit better. Um, so yeah, so excited to get this finally FFO'd um, and whatnot. So I know a lot of people were hoping for it. Um, so yeah, so I enjoyed it. So I'm glad I had this one done. Um, and I don't have any, I don't have any new uh, Quakers in the works. Um, if you have an idea of something that you would like to see kind of in this format, it doesn't have to be these colors or anything. Um, but if you have any any ideas, let me know. Uh, I have the anchor and I have the lighthouse now. And then if anyone has any other thoughts of things they would like to have, like in this style, let me know. Cause I do really enjoy designing and stitching these. So, so that's that one. And then, um, 
And then I did work on my two whip, no, I worked on one of my WhipGo goals. So I am doing WhipGo, which is a, the brainchild of Jesse Marie Does Stuff here on, on FlossTube. Um, the way I'm doing it is I have all of my pieces on there, except a couple that I know I'm gonna finish this year. Um, so I have 25 pieces on there. I have like different levels that I'm trying to get to. So I have gold, silver, bronze. Um, so bronze is if I spend any amount of time, put any amount of stitches, then um, it's, it's a, I've completed the bronze level. If I get 100 stitches in it, it's silver. And then if my ultimate goal is 240 stitches in each piece, which is like 200, like 2024, 240. Um, so that's my ultimate goal for each of my whip go pieces. So um, my whip go for April, one of them was um, the Cottage Garden Sampling song, Songbird Garden Series number one. And my goal ultimately was, so I'd already finished the word love and I wanted to get this house done. I don't have this in Pattern Keeper and I didn't like actually count how many stitches I did, but I know this house has got to be more than, I know it's more than 240. <laughs> so I was like, if I can get that house done, then I know I've completed like my gold level. So I'm doing this on a uh, vintage smoky, vintage smoky nights, I think from Zweigart. It's one of the printed pattern, printed pieces. And I was able to finish the house. So, very excited about that. And I'm using most of the called for, except the red, um, instead of, let's see. Instead of red pear, Weeks Dye Works, I'm using Classic Color Works Barn Door. So. And again, very bright, um, very pretty pink house. So, so I can put this away now. I don't know if this will come back out this year. Um, pretty happy with how far I got on that for right now. This isn't like a focus piece right now by any means. I just realized uh, <laughs> I also dyed my hair <laughs> in March. I'm so used to it now. I realize that this is my fir your first time seeing my hair dyed. Um, yeah, so I'm partially blonde now. <laughs> Sorry. This month, this month has been insane with everything. Um, I wanted to do balayage for a while now, and I finally got the courage to do it. So I'm very happy with it. It was initially a lot more blonde than I wanted, but I'm happy with it now. So, yeah, so I'm now partially blonde <laughs> sorry um okay so yes forever and ever I did not get to my other whip go piece my other whip go piece is um Celtic Christmas and I just couldn't I just didn't have the mental energy to pull that out and the big piece I really need to prioritize and maybe I will on my next trip up to Williamsburg because I know they have a really good one um I need to go to like office max and see if they can either copy it, copy the pattern for me or scan it in so I can like do it on my iPad um, easier. Cause I, the, the big, the, it's one of those patterns that like it folds up to like, you know, this big, but it is, you know, a huge pattern from, it's from lavender and lace. And I just, I just didn't have the mental, the mental ability to pull that out and try to figure out where I am and and all of that. So I'll get to it, but I need to optimize my, um, my pattern a little bit better. So, so that was my whip go piece that I did work on. And then my other piece that I've worked on, um, a lot this month is my September. Well, I guess it's technically Sapphire from Northern Expression Needle Arts. I, or Needleworks, I, um, I'm doing this for the friends I actually visit out in North Dakota. They got married in September. Um, and so I am doing this as a one year wedding anniversary, uh, slash her birthday slash his birthday. Cause all of them are in September. <laughs> 
So I'm doing this uh, in their wedding colors. So I've changed all the colors. I didn't change the pattern, but I did change the colors. And this is how far I am. Super excited. So this is um, 32 count raw silver. And initially I had a goal per month and I am sort of still sticking to that, but I finished the red. My goal for March was initially to finish the red corner and then finish. I only had one of these, like the side done. And then I want to finish the red and get the rest of the outsides done. So I did that. I even got all the beads in there. Um, and then I was like, okay, so I can either put this away until April, but now that I know what my April is going to look like, maybe I shouldn't do that. <laughs> maybe I should just keep going. So I finished the March and then I kept going and I, then I worked on the green for April, got all the beads in there. And then I started on what would have been May's corner <laughs> with the orange, um, and got most of that done. I have a little bit more left to do. And then I finished, I worked on this through Thursday and then yesterday I started the He Is Risen. So now all that's left is finishing this orange corner, doing the three rows. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Three rows of queen stitches that overlap in the middle of all of them. And then the color uh, in the center. So those queen stitches are, as anyone who knows about queen stitches, are no joke. <laughs> and you really do have to get in a rhythm with them. So I don't know exactly when I'm going to be. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to work on it in April. And if it's just too much, then this will just be put away until June. My goal is to get this done by end of July. Yeah, my goal is to, at worst case, mo like I might, maybe I'll get a hair, maybe I'll suddenly catch on to these and it won't take me as long as I'm expecting it to, um, is get the, get it officially done by the end of July. Cause then I want to have it professionally framed and we are seeing them the second to last week of September. We're going down to the keys with them. So I want to give it to them while we're there. Um, we're going to be there over his birthday. So, um, and then we leave right before technically their one year wedding anniversary, but we're kind of, it's a, it's their trip celebrating their wedding and everything. Um, so she was my maid of honor. I was her second in bridesmaid. Her sister was her maid of honor, matron of honor. And then David actually officiated their wedding. Um, so like we've been very involved in each other's weddings and Dave and I got married in the Keys and we're actually going to be staying at the resort right next to where we got married. So it's kind of like a big reunion for all of our wedding anniversaries and stuff like that. So it's a big trip for us. Um, so I really want to give this to them while we're there. Um, it's also the first time that we really like traveled alone with like as just us on a trip, um, somewhere like that. So very excited. Um, and I want to have plenty of time to get this professionally framed, which there's a really good framer in Williamsburg right next to the LNS there. So who's a cross stitcher. So I'll have this framed by her, but, but yeah, so that's where we're at. I've changed, like I said, I changed all the colors and I changed the beads that are called for. Um, so very excited. So yeah, April finish this and start those queen stitches. If anyone has any, uh, Good advice. I mean, the one I did for the blue, you know, looks good, but any advice on making them easier, let me know. <laughs> and those, that's all my stitching that I did for March, which was a good amount uh, for me. So jump into plans. Uh, so my whip goes for April. Uh, one of them is Kind Fierce Brave, which is one of my patterns. This is the mock-up of it. This is on um, 40 counts Wisteria by Color and Cotton. Let's see if I can get it. I, I've upgraded. I've gotten these boards now. I was inspired. I've been, I mean, a lot of people do it, but I was especially inspired by the Sunshine Stitchers. They, 
it always looks so good when they use the boards. So I was like, okay, it's time. <laughs> um, so this is as far as I've gotten so far. Um, my goal actually on this one, this is going to be a major focus piece for me for April. Cause I would really, it's my goal this year to get this done. Like I want this done ASAP because I want to officially get it out there. You can get it on my gum road. You can't get it on my Etsy yet. Um, Etsy is only for patterns that have been like, that are, as I say, like ready for print. This is not yet because I haven't finished the model yet, um, but you can get it on my Gumroad. Um, so that's as far as we've gotten. And then, yes. Uh, so this is one of, for, this is what go for April. And then my other whip go, which I've actually been itching to work on, so I'm glad it got called, is my Winter Gnome 2 mock-up here from Wonder Stitch UA on Etsy. Doing this on 46 count raw. And I love her. It's been it's been over a year since I've worked on her, so I've been kind of itching to work on her. So I'm excited to pull her back out for this month. I'm thinking I'm gonna go and work on this flower. Um, I learned about these from Laura Stitching by the Shore. She works on, she has quite a few. She was just working on her St. Patrick's Day one um, that she kind of rotates through and they always look so good. They are big. Like this is 46 count, nine by 13. And it's gonna, it fit, per, I did, it fit perfectly on this piece. It will fit perfectly on this piece. This is the halfway mark-ish. So I think the halfway mark was like right here, like right here. So it, I am not doing the background of the piece or like the circle at the bottom, but I am doing the whole no. So I'm excited to work on that one. And then, um, so those are my two whip goes. I'm going to, I told you what I'm going to do on September for April. And then, um, I guess through the weekend, I'm going to work on he is risen. So, which is, so today and tomorrow, I'm going to work on He Is Risen. So I'll, that'll, I'll show that again um, next video. And then my last plan is I have a plan new start. So for um, move-in day, uh, April 8th. Well, I shouldn't say move-in day, keys day. Because I'm not moving. I'll have the keys, but we're not doing like the big move-in yet um, until the 20th. Because I have to move in Monday through Friday. I have to get the keys Monday through Friday. But... I can't move, I still have to like go to my rotations and people can't come during the week. So we're not gonna do the full like U-Haul move until April 19th, 20th. So um, so April 8th, I'm taking the day off and I'm going and getting the keys, but I wanna like still commemorate that day. It's also my mom's birthday. So I have a new start plan, which is also uh, my next design that I have and it's called O. Williamsburg Welcome. And this is a mock-up. Um, so the three, so the pineapple is the sign of hospitality, uh, for those who may not know, Colonial Williamsburg, um, was, well, it's a, it's a living museum kind of, uh, right now, but it was where, um, it's like right outside of Jamestown. It was, you know, big air. It was the capital for, um, oh, it had a, I don't want to say this, like, when we when they were still colonies, Williamsburg was, you know, a really important area. So that is, um, and pineapple was a sign of hospitality back then. Uh, so I was inspired by this actually by Liberty Hill Needleworks and their logo. They have um, like a pineapple in a house on a hill. Like it's really cool. So I designed this and then I did like the red, white, and blue for America. So I will be stitching it on 46 count raw and I have it all ready. So it'll be here. And then these are the colors that I'm going to be using. Um, let me see if I get them in order. Red, white, blue, and then the green for like kind of the grass underneath the pineapples. Um, so yeah, so I'm excited to start this after that and then it'll be you know released um i will include an alphabet if you don't want like so you can put any letters you want or don't have to put letters if you don't want on the pineapples um so it's going to be with gentle art presidential blue 
Weak Style Works Emerald, Classic Color Works Cupid, and Weak Style Works Parchment are the colors that I'm going to be using. So, so yeah, so I'm going to start that on April 8th. And I think those are all my plans. Move. Uh, so just to give you an idea of how crazy April and May are going to be. So my last day is the 19th. My family, my parents are coming up on the 19th, the 20th. I have two sets of really good friends. Plus my parents were all descending here and getting this place into all of it, into a U-Haul, <laughs> moving it up to Williamsburg, getting it all unpacked. And then I have like three days to get settled that Tuesday. I head down to Atlanta with the dogs. Kaya gets spayed that weekend with um, a vet that we love and trust very much down in Atlanta. I leave four days later. Uh, the dogs will be well taken care of by my parents. I head down to Florida. I see David for a couple days. He graduates from like Panama City Dive School. I head straight back to Atlanta the next day. I have my 10 year high school reunion that Saturday. And then three days later, I head down to Auburn to then get settled or like do graduation prep stuff. I graduate that Saturday, <laughs> the next Saturday after the reunion, May 11th. And then pictures, which is also Mother's Day, drive back to Atlanta. And then that Tuesday, head back to Williamsburg. So in three weeks, I will be in three different states. <laughs> so I'll have a week in Atlanta, a week in Florida, a week in Auburn, back to Virginia. So it will be, and then David comes home for Memorial Day weekend, a few weeks to like still get unpacked, get settled. And then Father's Day weekend is when he graduates officially in Connecticut, get up to Connecticut, come back that Sunday, June 17th, that Monday, which is my birthday, is also my first day of residency. <laughs> Orientation starts on June 17th. I'm tired just telling you all of that. So just keep us in your thoughts and prayers. It's all good things, all good things, but it is going to be, it's going to be, I'm going to enjoy these last two days of March. <laughs> I can really enjoy March. Um, try and get a lot of sleep next week because after that, I'm, I will not be sleeping much. So it's just, it's just life. It's just my life. Um, but yeah, so those are kind of my plans. I'm going to try and stitch around that when I can. <laughs> um, but yes. And then, uh, so yeah, so along with all of that, my next video, <laughs> A, will be in Williamsburg. So I got to figure out my new video spot in Williamsburg. I don't know when it's going to be. I hope it'll be like middle, like late May. It might not be till early June. I just, yeah. I'm gonna do my best. Um, but I, yeah, it definitely won't be the end of April because I'll be in Florida. So it won't be then. Um, so hopefully, like middle of May, late May is what I'm aiming for. Uh, so hopefully, I'll have a lot to show you. Hopefully, hopefully, I get enough stitching done to have a lot to show you. But I'll at least be, I'll be done with medical school the next time you see me. So I do have a little bit of haul and then giveaways. Actually, I'm gonna do giveaways first. Um, you guys have heard me ramble enough that we should, you've, you've made it through. You should hear the giveaways. So the first giveaway that I had for my last video was Bloom Where You're Planted by Brenda Gervais. And the winner of this is the Sea Dragons Lair 8166, <laughs> which awesome name. Um, so the Sea Dragons Lair, if you'll please email me at, uh, georgiagirlstitching at gmail.com and give me your address and I'll get this out to you ASAP. And then the other giveaway was Mose Sale True Blue Thread Silk. And this goes to Debbie Guest 9939. So Debbie, if you'll also please email me your address and I will get that out to you guys. I will not be doing a giveaway this video because I have no idea when I'll be back. I don't know where my stuff's going to be. So I'm just not, not going to uh, put that out there for this video. But next video... I hope to have a really big giveaway because I actually cross my four year floss tube anniversary next month. I think my video went out, I wanna say like April 19th through 20th in 2020, which is also when I finished medical school. So wow, what a, what a world we've gone through together. <laughs> so every, almost every year, every two years, um, the location has changed. Uh, those of you who've been with me through the beginning have seen quite an evolution of 
Georgia girl stitching. So, um, so yeah, so my next video will be a big one. It'll be a big giveaway and like talk about how crazy life changes in four years. So, so yes, so that'll be, so make sure you tune in for the next one. Um, and then I have haul and then that'll be it. So if you're interested in haul, stick around. Um, first haul is I did when I was, a, when I was home hunting. So we're renting, we're renting a town home up in Williamsburg. Um, while I was hunting and applying and all the fun stuff, I did stop by Liberty Hill Needleworks um, and say hi to my friends there. And I did get one thing from Market that I really, really fell in love with, and that is American Welcome by Plum Street. I absolutely love this piece. Um, when I first saw it, it's just, I love it so much. So I went ahead and got this pattern. And I'm super excited. I did not kit it up or anything yet. Um, mostly because I want to see if I can use some stuff from Stash. But also, I don't want to start this until I finish some things. Because this one's going to take me a long time. Like, just look at that water. <laughs> this one's going to take me a while. So I want to get some big things off my whip list before I get started on that one. Um, another reason I want to finish Kind Fierce Brave ASAP is... My Williamsburg welcome piece will put me over 30, which my my goal this year was to stay 30 and below. So my next one closest to a finish is Kind Pierce Brave. So I wanted to get that done if I can. My other haul is completely because of Laura from Stitching by the Shore. <laughs> um, so Dying for Cross Stitch is a fabric dyer who she does like uh, monthly, you know, I don't know her the full extent, but I know she has a new fabric every month and you, I think you can still order it. Um, the color changes every month and I don't know if you can get previous months. I'm not, I'm not sure, but she has every count type, everything available and you just pick what you want. And then it comes a few weeks later. Um, this came pretty quickly, but I don't know how fast it, it would normally come. So I immediately went on because of course it was blue <laughs> and immediately got two pieces of fabric. Uh, thanks, Laura. <laughs> I got a 46 count. I'm trying to remember what the name of it is. Oh, it's just March 2024 fabric of the month. I think you can still get it because I think it's all of March, but you're it's close. I don't know if, how, how soon after March you can get it, but... I love it, of course. It is my perfect blue. So I got one in 46 count because I'm trying to stock up. I'm trying to beef up my 46 count fabrics. And it's just gorgeous. I think white would show really well on this, which is one thing I really look for. Um, so I'm very happy. I got a fat quarter of this. And then she had this option. And I was like, you know, I'm going to give it a shot because I don't have anything like this. Um, it's still bl the blue, but it's 40 count opal. So I got, let's see if I can get the, yeah, you can see the opal in there. So I got a fat quarter of the 40 count. You can kind of see it's a little bit darker, um, a little bit darker modeling than the 46 count. But I just, I don't have anything like opal like this in blue, especially not in 40 count. So I thought that would be fun. Put something special and sparkly on that. So, so those are my two, two new pieces of fabric. You can kind of see the difference between the 46 and the 40, the difference in how much the dye takes up. So the 46 counts much lighter than the 40, which I think is so interesting. So, so those are my two new pieces of fabric. Actually, I think that's all my haul, yeah. All of my haul like that. I now have as my last thing, which if you're not interested, I totally understand, have a wonderful, six weeks. <laughs> I'll see you when I see you. Um, my last piece of haul is actually, I did get the winter and stars hollow retreat box from, uh, black needle society. And I know quite a few people have already done unboxings. One that I would really point out is Morgan from what's Morgan stitching on floss Two and Instagram. She did a great unboxing video. Highly recommend going and checking out her video. She also has a very exciting announcement that I love so much. Um, and so excited for her. So go check her out. She did a great unboxing. I just wanted to show some of like my favorite things out of the box in case you um, 
are ever interested in getting like one of these retreat boxes i was not able to join the retreat i think it's still going on but like with everything going on right now like i just couldn't sit and be a part of an online retreat right now people love it people have said it's great um so i'd recommend it i just haven't haven't been able to go to any of them um but i did want to kind of just do a, a short unboxing i've already looked at everything in here um but in case you're interested so this is the box that it came in which is cool it was um very uh themed which i don't think the others have been themed i i did not get autumn but i did get spring and summer in stars hollow so and then all the different cups from luke's um some of my favorite stuff out of here would be this mug that I believe Katie drew and then had put on the mug. Um, all the different like different scenes from Stars Hollow, which is amazing. So good mug. Um, every box comes with this kind of like intro packet that explains everything that's in the box and like who made it, where it came from some like uh creative words um and then everything about like the retreat this is what all four patterns look like together so we got spring summer autumn winter which is the new one they have not been released yet i believe the plan is all four of them will be re released early next year last time i heard i heard Winter is coming out in 2024. All will be released in 2025. So just a few more months until if you haven't been able to get it um, until all four of them are released. But that's what it looks like if you put them all together. So let me show you. Oh, the actual pattern's at the bottom. But um, we did get some color and cotton floss, which is fun. Which I don't, again, I don't know if she'll release these at some point. Because some of these are gorgeous colors that I hope she does. Like this autumn leaves. Like, ugh. Gorgeous. Um, and they all, all of the names are Stars Hollow, like, themed. So they might come out as different names if she actually releases them into her line. Um, seven Christmas trees. One is a palm. Rory's formal winter dress. And for tonight, my only, my name is Bill. So if you're a Stars Hollow Gilmore Girls fan, you probably recognize some of those references. Um, but really gorgeous flosses. And then this is fun. I don't remember this in previous boxes, but we got a whole kitted up project. In addition to the pattern, uh, Luke's Cup. Uh, that was made by the Black Needle Society. And it comes with everything you need. The fabric. I don't think it comes with the floss. I think that's the only thing it doesn't come with, but, but it comes with all of the finishing materials, which I thought was cool. So I can then hand that to my future finisher. <laughs> um, so I'll be doing that. Um, needle minder, no cell phones. Cute pom-pom hat. I smell snow, which hopefully I can pack this away now. I better not be smelling any more snow or else I'm definitely moving. But this is one thing that uh, Morgan wasn't really able to show. Um, so I wanted to show it uh, here. We got a blanket that has artwork by, oh, what's her name? Heather Grutton Art, which she does a lot of artwork for Black Needle Society, if I'm not mistaken. So this artwork is by her. I'm going to stand back and show you this entire blanket, which is just amazing um and it's like a fleece blanket too so let me see if i can get it all i don't know if i can get it all in there kind of get the idea though so it has them at the ice skating rink in the town you see the snowmen um it's really it's really it's really wonderful so the gazebo covered in snow. So very, it's very soft, very soft. Um, and then the last really cool thing that I'll be using for sure is we got another project bag of them. 
with all of their very healthy eating. <laughs> uh, and then it's a lifestyle, it's a religion. So, love it. I really, really love this box, worth every single penny. Um, and then this is the pattern that we got, the official winter pattern. So, very, very happy with it. So now I can actually put this all away and use it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so that's that's all of my official haul. Um, I think that's all of my all of everything I could talk to you about that you'd be interested in. Um, if you have any questions or need any information on anything, please comment below. Let me know. Reach out to me on Instagram. Um, oh, I do have a lot on my D stash right now. That was the other thing too. Um, fabrics, mostly linens. Um, patterns. I have a lot of stuff on my D stash right now. So if you're looking for some fabrics, make sure you go check out my D stash. Um, and I think that's all she wrote. Thank you all so much for all of your support, all of your super kind comments on, um, just always, but especially last week when I announced that I was going to be getting matched, you know, really sweet notes of support and, you know, praying that I got what I wanted and I did. Um, so yeah, so just bear with me as we continue on these transitions <laughs> um, and whatnot. So real quick, little Kaya. Kaya. Little Kaya, look, she's gotten very big. She's almost 50 pounds. Um, and yeah, thank you all so much for everything. Have a great month of stitching and I'll see you when I see you. Bye friends.